navigating conflict with grace, the art of managing disagreements respectfully. In our daily lives, conflict is almost inevitable. From minor misunderstandings to major disagreements, conflicts can arise in personal relationships, workplaces, and social settings. Handling conflicts gracefully is not just about resolving the issue at hand but also maintaining mutual respect, preserving relationships, and fostering a positive environment for future interactions. Here's a closer look at the art of managing conflicts with grace and poise. Understanding the nature of conflict. Conflict, at its core, occurs when there are differences in opinions, values, or goals between individuals or groups. Not all conflicts are negative, in fact, when managed well, conflicts can lead to growth, innovation, and stronger relationships. The way we approach conflicts is crucial to whether they end positively or result in lasting resentment and dissatisfaction. Rather than avoiding conflict or approaching it with aggression, a graceful approach promotes constructive conversations and solutions. Embrace open communication. One of the most effective ways to manage conflict gracefully is to practice open, honest communication. During disagreements, it's easy to fall into the trap of assuming we know what the other person is thinking or feeling. However, assumptions can worsen conflicts. Instead, foster an environment where each person feels safe to express their perspective. Actively listen without interruption and avoid jumping to conclusions. Phrasing questions with curiosity rather than judgment helps bridge the gap between opposing viewpoints. For example, instead of saying, you always do this, try asking, can you help me understand why this is important to you? Such questions promote empathy and help clarify underlying issues. When both sides feel heard and respected, the chances of reaching a mutual understanding increase significantly. Maintain emotional control. It's natural to feel a range of emotions when in conflict, but losing control of these emotions can escalate the situation. Practicing emotional regulation is key to graceful conflict management. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather acknowledging them and responding thoughtfully. Techniques such as deep breathing, taking a brief pause, or even stepping away temporarily can prevent emotionally charged responses that may worsen the conflict. Keeping a calm demeanor, even when the other person may not, sets a positive example and encourages a more respectful exchange. If you feel emotions rising, take a moment to reflect on why the conflict is affecting you so deeply. Often, this self-awareness provides clarity and prevents reactive behavior. Focus on the issue, not the person. Conflicts often become personal when we focus on individuals rather than the issue. It's easy to make judgments or assumptions about someone's intentions, but these assumptions are usually based on limited perspectives. Instead, concentrate on the specific problem rather than attributing blame to the other person. This helps keep the conversation productive and prevents feelings of defensiveness. For instance, rather than saying, you're so irresponsible for missing the deadline, try saying, let's discuss why the deadline wasn't met and how we can avoid this in the future. By separating the person from the problem, we create space for collaboration and understanding. Practice empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share another person's feelings. By placing ourselves in others' shoes, we can see the conflict from their perspective and approach it more compassionately. This doesn't mean agreeing with their viewpoint, but recognizing that their feelings and experiences are valid. To practice empathy, consider their motivations, background, and any external factors that may be influencing their stance. Remember that everyone has different life experiences and values that shape their perceptions. Showing empathy often disarms defensiveness and builds a foundation for compromise. Seek solutions, not victory. A graceful approach to conflict is solution-oriented rather than combative. Instead of viewing the conflict as something to win, focus on finding a mutually acceptable solution. A compromise that respects both parties' needs is often more sustainable and satisfying than a one-sided victory. When both sides feel they have contributed to the resolution, there is a stronger commitment to upholding the agreement. 
brainstorming options together can foster teamwork and make both parties feel valued. If the solution benefits all involved, the resolution is likely to last, reducing the chance of the same conflict arising in the future. Apologize when necessary. Part of managing conflicts gracefully is recognizing when you are at fault and being willing to apologize. A sincere apology can go a long way in diffusing tension and restoring trust. However, the apology should be genuine and take responsibility for specific actions rather than vague statements. For example, I apologize for not listening carefully during our conversation. I realize it made you feel undervalued is more effective than a simple, sorry if you were hurt. An authentic apology acknowledges the impact of your actions, showing respect and humility. This fosters an environment of accountability and encourages others to be open about their mistakes as well. Learn from each conflict. Each conflict provides an opportunity to learn and grow. Reflecting on past conflicts and assessing what went well and what didn't can improve future interactions. Take note of any recurring patterns in your approach to conflicts. Do you often interrupt? Or maybe you tend to avoid confrontation altogether? By identifying these tendencies, you can develop strategies to handle conflicts more constructively. Managing conflict gracefully is a valuable skill that strengthens relationships, improves communication, and creates a healthier environment for everyone involved. While conflict may be challenging, approaching it with empathy, self-control, and respect can transform disagreements into opportunities for mutual understanding and personal growth.